Hello and welcome, Neil is here from Tykes TV, hope we're all well. I think those that attended last night would be pleasantly surprised with some of the youngsters that played in the game against the Newcastle Under-21 Academy in the Pizza Trophy, as, I, as it's been called, or some like to call it by name, or whatever, EFL Trophy, but for the Pizza Trophy. Uh, again... I kind of expected it, a lot of changes. I'll go through, you know, just a couple of players. So we'll go through the vast majority of players, to be fair. Uh, some brilliant goals, you know. Jack Bottlefield and Zaid Laresh. I think that's how it's pronounced. Very, uh, I hope I pronounced it right. But yeah, the second game is that I fought in the first half. A bit cagey, a bit undecided what were happening. Uh, we had some chances, you know. I mean, Teddy had a, a few few chances. Nice to see that Jamie Searle, he was in starting 11. I think we, Brad Collins and Jack Walton, obviously, with injuries, but we've got on the mark. Again, had a, had a great volley, I think, it's second half, and it came over to him and he caught it well. And their goalkeeper did a decent save. Jasper Moon and McCarthy at back. Again. Look pretty, look comfortable and assured. Um, you know, I thought, I thought McCarthy could tell. Obviously, that a bit more sharper in match fitness and that compared to Moon. But I thought, yeah, the boss handled uh, Newcastle's uh, front line pretty decent. Nicky Cadden, again, coming back from injury, and he was captain for the for the evening. Very decent game. I know Lancaster came on for him uh, at, well, at half time for a change. But yeah, more minutes on the belt for Cadden. So pleasing to see. Big back getting uh, Herbie Kame in, in Lincoln game, wasn't it? He had half an hour kind of thing. Herbie Kame again, coming back from injury, he's him. Laresh, again, pretty quiet, you know, in first half campaign, but in second half, wow, do we go for it? And I think someone got to said to him at half time for that. Picard, young Picard came on for him in the last couple of minutes after, you know, Laresh's won the goal. We'll get on about that in a minute. Adam Phillips, again, another player who got, uh, got brought in, wanting game time, wanting minutes. Nejam, I think is, that's how you pronounce it. Or Nijam, or Nejam, sounds better, doesn't it? Two minutes, guys. Nejam uh, came on for him again, second half, a bit like Nicky Cadden. So I've got minutes under the belt. Ackroyd, so at 90 minutes out. We're going to a few tackles, also received a fair few. It crossbar as well, Ackroyd. So again, unlucky. But, you know, putting us in a great position at the time, wasn't he? So Ackroyd had a, a, another decent game. Jallo, making some decent runs, but get, can, get, get, kept getting. So about. Kept getting caught offside of a fair amount of times as well. I think back into something we need to be working on. I was only 16, so there's a lot, you know, a lot to learn about respect to, you know, pushing out kind of thing. But frustrating, but he was making some runs, he was getting some good positions, but just being caught offside quite a bit. And Jack Butterfield all came in for him, know about him. Leicester in ranks here, banging goals in for fun. Been on Barnsley around about January, February time. I think it was about February time. As a trialist, we were working out with under 23, so he, he you know, took his goal pretty well. Um, a player that I'm liking, seen a bit in him at under 23s. Also, I looked at his record, what he's done before at Leicester, and he's looking a bit of a, a diamond. I, I like uh, Jack, it just seems to be a bit about it, but um, again, confidence, well taken goal, composed. I caught it, sweet. Yeah, I was impressed with that. Going to Tedich again. I saw game out and he were holding the ball up well. He were trying to lead line. Went went close on a few times. Very close. He was point blank on one of them and their goalkeeper pulled it off. But again, being in area at the time, unfortunately not to get a goal. I think for his work rate and what he was doing up front, I don't move him there back. Uh, Lying about, trying to create space for such as like Akroy to join in, Jallo, Martin to come in as well. So we'll get on about Martin. Martin, again, 
uh, someone sat outside of me says uh, it reminds me of Romal Palmer with that just that style and looking haircut. Uh, from a distance, I suppose it, it does. But again, Martin hustling and bustling about. I know uh, substitute Hartley came on for him, another youngster. So quite a few youngsters coming on uh, in second half to mix it up. But again, Martin, yeah, created chances, tried hustling and bustling, tried linking up well with Tedich, but just get back to goals. I mean, like I said, Butterfield, his goal, a sublime cross what came over for him. Just caught it right, you know, and straight across, perfect. And then... Loresh's goal, wow. I mean, we, we were sat, you know, you could hear a hush, it was pin drop. And placement on it, I just wish I'd have been in Pontian to, you know, where normally I'm just a seat full thing of that because, wow. He, I've seen it on highlights as well, and every time you look at it on highlights, it just looks great every time. 25 yard art, something like that. Uh, caught it well, bend, curl, everything. It was sweet, sweet as a nut. And again, what pleasing to me for me to see in that game is certain first team members there or players knocking up on spot for the first team. Uh, Searle, we know about on the mark, a decent game. Moon is in and out, it's not perfect in you know, in squad being called up. So we've got McCarthy, Cadden, Phillips. You know, Martin, you could be saying first team, Tedich, Jallo, again, Jallo and Butterfield. For what I've seen of Butterfield, I think I'd like to see a bit more in him. Uh, he, whether it's in first team squad or in and about there, I think Butterfield's a, a decent kid. Jallo, 16, still a young kid, but, you know, promising, you know, there's... There's excitement there, you know, you know, a bit like Diet, you know, Bruce Dyer's young lad as well. There's excitement there. Uh, first team, mm, a bit too much probably. Butterfield, definitely I'd like to see him, him being involved in that. Again, you're watching this, please like, subscribe and share. Let, let your, uh, your comments as well. What do you think about uh, Loresh? Do you think he should be, you know, come on loan from Fulham? Another option there for left wing back role. Fantastic option there. Uh, then you've got such as like Butterfield. Could he be, you know, another option on bench to come in and see what he could do? You know, an impact. So it's, it's looking promising. Looking promising. So, yeah, I mean, 0-0 at half-time. Come out 2-0 victors. So a good win. A good win for morale, confidence and boost. And people say, yeah, but he was all in Newcastle under 21, you know, academy things and stuff. So. But end of the day, still got to still got to play a team what's in front of you. And it were a a great, you know, it were a great it were great to see some of the youngsters get a go and step up to Mark as well and let them improve. And short, you know, gaffer, short coaches, what you know, this is what I can do. Um so for me, we move on this next uh, game in this in the Pizza Trophy is that uh, Doncaster Rovers away. I'll be going. I think there'll be a fair few going for that. A uh, bit price of tickets. Tickets are going to sale on that. So, yeah. Um, like I said, please like, subscribe and share. I've already said that. Let uh, let me know your comments. What what do you think of the performance? What do you think it plays? What you saw? Do you, have you seen goal? You know, should we be knocking up to first team affairs? Not forgetting that the fans forum, which is on Thursday, 6.30. Um, hopefully, I'll be be getting there. But yeah, it's a chance to see the CEO, the board members and that what's going to be there. Being held by the Barnsley FC Supporters Trust. Uh, they've organised the event and that. So yeah, um, if you do go, I hope I see you there and have a chat, have a, have a natter and see what we can do. And then we move on to the next home game, which is Charlton Athletic. So yeah, a win, a clean sheet, and some pleasing performances. Thanks for watching. One thing left to say, you would heads.